Good morning everybody, Chuck here and the Mafia gang. Today I'm going to go on a bike ride to Mutnahan. I'm going to bring you guys along. Bear with me just a second. Let me, hang on a second. I got a vent. Let me go in here because they don't like to hear me. Uh, hang on, let me turn the light on. I got some explaining to do about my my e-bike i love my e-bike i really do i love it a lot it's very cool i love my road bike i i like it a lot I, here's the thing i like to ride my e-bike because it's comfortable and i can go long distance without being super tired pretty much any time of the year so let me let me just bear with me a little bit guys i got a, a small little rant <laughs> here's the thing like i live i live in a reality but i also live in a virtual reality i live in a virtual reality where people can be whoever they want to be they can type what they want they can say who they are and what they have accomplished and be superior to anybody on the internet but here's the thing if you want to come to top and home and bring your road bike then let's go. I'll ride my road bike. I'll challenge you. We'll go 55 kilometers into Nakompanom. I'll buy you lunch. We'll eat something light. And then we'll, we'll come back. I'll buy you a big dinner. If you can do that challenge with me. We'll do a 30 kilometer uh, pace. A 30 kilometer per hour pace. We'll stop and get water and rest if you need to. But come, come along with me. Let me explain something to you about where I live. So you're lucky if you have 50 yards of flat surface. It's a very, very hot, and it's very hot in Thailand. That road bike is pretty solid. Now I've ridden, I've gotten plenty of kilometers on that road bike, quite a few. I've had to change the tires three times since I've owned that bike. And uh, yeah, I, I've, I've, I've had that on the road plenty of times. I've ridden in large groups. I've ridden with, with just a couple of friends. I mostly ride by myself. I feel like it's dangerous riding with more than two people because they tend to want to wander out into the lane. Here's the thing about Thailand. Not only is the road not smooth, sometimes as you're riding along at 30 kilometers per hour, that's a pretty good pace and hit a little pothole, especially while you're trying to drink water, you're going to come off the bike. There's dogs constantly running out after you. There's cars that don't look. There's motorbikes that don't look. There's cars that pull out in front of you and drive in the shoulder going slower than you pedal. <laughs> There's a lot of things on a bicycle not here in, in Thailand. Now I'm not riding in a little memorial park somewhere in your city. I, I'm riding in Thailand. so. All that being said, this bike is a very comfortable bike. And how long, you're not gonna go too far on just the motor. I get a lot of crazy comments sometimes from these people that think they're like Lance Armstrong, you know? <laughs> they're like, oh, you know, I can't, I can't believe that you're riding a, an e-bike, Chuck. <laughs> Here, here's the thing about me bicycling. I, I only do what I wanna do. When I got to Thailand, I was like really bored after about a month. So I bought, I've had several bikes. I've given probably five of them away. I wanted to explore. I, I said before, I'm kind of an explorer. Like I like to explore around. I haven't even had my first cup of coffee yet. So I ride a bicycle around the town just to check it out. Of course it didn't work out because there's all these little soys have dogs on them and they've like never seen a foreigner on a bicycle before so they look i think i looked like a like a riding like a, a pork chop riding a bicycle you know so i mean i like to go i'm not competition bike ride i'm not like my critics i don't feel like i'm lance armstrong i don't feel like i need to compete with my you know a lot of these people i think and, and We've all had this in our life where you have the, the neighbor, the friend, uh, somebody in your family that's always 
one-upping you, right? Like you can't do anything without them one-upping you. Oh, my car gets better gas mileage. My bike is faster. I'm two pounds less than you. You know, it's always, you're always gonna get that. So I'm not trying to be, if they're that great, then create a, create like a YouTube channel and just show everybody how wonderful you are. <laughs> Tell me how that works out. But um, I do it because it's relaxing to me. Like I like to enjoy the scenery, the bike ride. I don't need to go fast. I don't need to go with anybody. I just want to go. I want to, I want to get my mind right. I want to get my body right. Now I'm not trying to push myself to the limit in the heat of Thailand in this, in this environment. I do ride my bike, but now I got kind of a safe route that I go. I do about maybe round trip about 30 kilometers. You can Google whatever kilometers is to miles. Just ask your phone, it'll tell you. But this bike is comfortable. The time. I put some smaller road tires on there, not just to go faster, but these are Continental three ply tires and it's very difficult to change that back tire to take the, the, the wipe, to take the wheel, the tire off just to repair the, the uh, tube. It's difficult. So I bought those because those were the best for the road conditions here. But other than that, uh, the bike is pretty damn comfortable. And if I get tired or get a cramp or whatever, I can just give it the gas with the, not the gas, but give it the battery, the juice. And, and that's and that's just it like i'm not if if you're like lance armstrong and you can do then good for you awesome that is really great for you but who gives a crap if somebody wants to ride an e-bike or a motorbike or whatever they want to do to go outside away from the internet and just enjoy outside whatever it takes to get outside you know just do it this is still a lot of good exercise for me. I'm not here to try to explain to you how much exercise I'm getting or what the benefits are of that. I'm just take, I'm putting my camera on there and I'm just taking you guys for a ride. That's it, just enjoy it or don't enjoy it or I don't know, I'm annoyed with your, I'm better than you crap. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'm going to move behind today. I'm, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. My friend Knit, Eyes of a Thai, lives there. I sent her a message yesterday, see how she's doing. If her and her mom want to meet up for lunch today, uh, maybe we can get them on camera today, if she even replies to my comment. I've talked to her a couple times. Uh, got her to make a video the other day. She had to explain to her how to actually upload the video from her phone onto onto youtube so she's got a couple more videos coming out and she promises to continue eyes of a tie i'll share the link down down below but other than that i don't know what i'm gonna do uh we're gonna pack up get ready pack up tomorrow i gotta put all my seats and stuff in the back of my truck or my suv sorry and uh, we have to prepare for our four day adventure with the ladies. So that's gonna be fun. Me and a train and an SUV full of ladies. <laughs> I really enjoy it. They kind of cackle a lot in the back, but hey, I'm glad that they can get away from their little problems that they have in their life. And I'm taking them away from that and we're gonna drink some beer, we're gonna have some food, we're gonna sit by the water. We're gonna do whatever they wanna do. And that's to me what life is about at some point where you can just be selfish and do whatever the hell makes sense to you and get to a point to where you are not worried about what anybody thinks about you, what anybody says about you, believe it or not, I don't care what anybody says. These are just words on the computer, but I'm bringing it up to share with you guys about the hypocrisy of, of the world. And one of the reasons why I feel so much healthier, my mom is so much happier, is because we have distanced ourselves from that. But unfortunately for me, I still live in this virtual reality world here and still get updates on the current 
catastrophes uh, end of the world scenarios so I still get that but then they go away and then somehow another one comes up and another one comes up and I'm like dude just go outside whatever's gonna happen you can't control it there's nothing you can do about it nothing <laughs> just think back 20 years just think back to all the things that we've actually lived through like Y2K and all the Nostradamus, what is it, Nostradamus stuff. I don't know, guys. Get you an e-bike. It's cool. It's fun. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go for a bike ride. Good morning. Okay, guys, real quick, I want to give a shout out to our new members. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. If I don't get your name and you know that you've already become a member remember the videos are a little bit behind and uh, if I forget about you sometimes maybe the the name got shuffled in the and uh, the members thing here but this is what I'm looking at here <laughs> so sometimes it gets uh, gets lost in here somewhere maybe down here so send me a message if you don't see it within the next couple days but if you don't see it right away it's just maybe because the video is a little bit delayed from the time anyway let me thank our new awesome members and if i repeat your name i'm sorry too <laughs> hugh carr thank you very much wayne crownis shield thank you very much david robinson dale box one Nightingale 829, thank you very much. Alan Pearson, After Work Thailand. Ruben Brandner. Don, thank you, Don. <laughs> Dave Work, hopefully you get a vacation, Dave. Wayne, just kidding. Wayne Lesperance. Graham Jobson, and Jeremy Woods. Anyway, thank you guys very much. Um, I really appreciate that. We'll be doing a live stream before we head to our adventure with the mafias. And uh, we'll hopefully we'll see you guys there. I will try to put a, a link to the, to the live stream in the, in the community page. So be looking for that. I've been summoned to eat. I want to leave here in about an hour because it's going to get hot. Um, I'm going to take the back road, the scenic river road when i'm going pretty quick like 30 kilometer per hour at least there's a lot of you know the wind blowing and i cover up so the sweat and the wind keep me kind of cool and i hydrate let's eat a thai style breakfast yay Well, it was good. They're always trying to give me a lot of food. I, typically, I don't eat a lot of food in, for breakfast. I think a lot of Westerners, we don't. Unless we're eating a buffet in a hotel. <laughs> I, bought, I want to show you guys something. And people that don't ride bikes don't care. And I don't blame you. I bought these shorts on Lazada. Very important to have these when bicycling. I refuse to wear them at first. Like, I'm not wearing that gay damn short. And then after dealing with, like, a, a heat rash that was painful. So I, I bought these on Lazada. I actually Paige found them. I'm not going to lie to you. But she bought me, like, ten of them. <laughs> because if you find something here, and I got a bunch of backpacks, too, that I don't ever use... But if, if you find something, you got to buy it because it might not be there. But they were cheap. They were like 250 baht, I think, each. And they're really, really good. They lasted a long time. But I wear them under my shorts now because I was just wearing those in like a little like fanny pack, which goes well with the shorts. <laughs> but the fanny pack was rubbing this, my side after you, you're in the heat on a bike for two hours straight pedaling. You start getting like, if anything's tight on you, it starts to rub. So I started wearing these cargo shorts so I can keep my stuff because I always got a lot of stuff. And that's another thing I like about that uh, e-bike is I got those saddlebags and everything. 
if I let that thing run out of battery and I'm 50 kilometers out and I'm coming home, it is gonna suck because that thing is like a tank. Not only is that wheel heavy, the battery's heavy, I'm heavy, the crap I got in there's heavy. It's a heavy bike. I don't want to pedal. I have before put it on a, you know, just up a, a high gear and or a low gear. Yeah. In a low gear and just come back as slow as I can <laughs> manage it. So you don't want to use the the battery that much but uh because that bike is so heavy the little bit of assist really helps it out but uh if you think it's no effort on that thing you can ride that on level one i'll ride my road bike if you don't have a bike and i'll challenge you on that i'll up you one more thing before i go i gotta say something to my audience um i just put out the video today of my mom going on an adventure in Prachuap. And you guys are so wonderful with the awesome comments. And I thank you very much for coming along with us on that journey. And the comments that you give to my mom is very, you don't know how much it really inspires her to see the inspiration that you guys have in the comment section. It means a lot, a, a lot to my mom. And it's been driving her um yeah to, to just keep going and hopefully this will drive her to continue to make more videos on her adventures so we can share that on our journey but what i want to say to my critics <laughs> of course i can't shut up about it where are you now like at least have some integrity you know what if we if we do something wrong or we fail we have to recognize it we have to fix the problem and we have to move forward. But so many people said how much harm I was doing to my mom physically and mentally and she's gonna not come back and she's gonna go back. Where are you? Where are you now? Why can't you come say, I was wrong, man. You, you, uh, you definitely inspired me to think outside of my own thoughts. I don't expect you to, to give me a pat on the back, but I want you to realize that not all things are as you see it because if you have that mindset it only affects you and it's going to keep you from moving forward not everything is the same in every situation not every day every experience every person is the same and uh, you have to recognize this so um yeah just <laughs> don't don't send me a message and say anything but i want you to realize that um not everything is as you can see it and if everybody listened to everyone else that was negative and said oh that's not going to work well then nobody would succeed where any where, where other people's fail so anyway <laughs> i just want to say that uh yeah whatever whatever i do in my life i i try to my hardest to uh to not listen to anybody to figure out a way to make it work and I become possessed with it. And uh, I fail a lot, but I, I work around that. I, I, I realize my failures and what I've done, and, and then I move forward. Um, I'm not patting myself on the back, but I'm trying to get you to realize that uh, if you've had a bad experience or seen a bad experience, then make a correction or realize that that experience isn't gonna happen. But a lot of times the bad experiences in our lives are because that's who we are inside and we create this persona. So be happy with yourself. I promise on a bike ride, I'm not gonna talk the whole time. I'm just gonna show you guys some scenery. We're gonna head to Mukdahan and uh, I'll just play some background music before I probably say something I shouldn't. <laughs> Train roll on On down the line Won't you Please take me far Far away and I feel 
feel the wind blow outside my door. But I'm leaving my best friend behind. I have made it to Mukdahan, checked in here to this hotel. It was a 
about 700 baht a night. It's a different one. I've, uh, I've stayed here once a long time ago during COVID, but they have a good breakfast and, and uh, no elevator. But I think last time I stayed here, the only floor they had open was like the fifth floor. <laughs> so now I'm on the third, which is okay. So I sent a message to, to uh, Knit and she responded back and asked what time I was going to get here. So I'm trying to get a hold of her and see if they want to come have lunch and maybe do a little interview with them. And uh, other than that, I don't really have anything to do today, which is good. That's what I wanted. Let's go check out the room. Okay, here it is. Third floor is not as close as I thought it was. Not a bad room. Coffee maker, good refrigerator, air conditioned. Hello, me. I like it when it comes with soap, shampoo, so I don't have to carry carry any of that stuff with me. So, anyway, this is it. Gonna relax, wash up, and uh, see what's next. Well, this restaurant here, I have done a couple of videos on it. There's some background music that I wanted to hit on copyright. So I'm gonna have to skip through it a little bit. So don't get too annoyed with me. I have a special guest here, a friend of mine that I've known for a long time. And her name is Eyes of a Tie. Knit or Pearl, what do you want? Hello. <laughs> so Dika, hello. So you go by either Knit or Pearl. So what do you prefer your audience to call you? Can call me Knit or Pearl, you know? Uh, okay. Can have two names. <laughs> well, we haven't seen Pearl. I'm going to call her Nick because that's how I always know Nick. So I haven't seen Nick on the internet for quite some time. Nick had her father passed away. So I think she took a break from the internet. It's been a while now. So you everything is, uh, you're back to start making videos now, huh? Yeah. yeah. Just after one year, after I stopped. Yeah. Just about three videos. I yeah. just put on. Yeah, I think if I had a loss in my family, I probably would stop making videos too. Yeah, yeah. that's understandable. You guys, Nit, she pretty much is, is a farm girl, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's no denying it, right? Yeah. yeah, so, but your content is very interesting. You know, you know, like most of us content creators, we always think our life is boring and sometimes we just, we put out a video thinking, well, I don't even know why I put it out, but it ends up being like one of the best videos because people want to see normal everyday life. So I've been trying to convince Knit through the years that you guys want to see normal stuff. You don't really care about the made up, uh, fictitious stuff, you know, and you want to know the real Thailand. But what Knit has to offer is Thailand through a Thai lady's eyes. And she works really hard on the farm and uh, I enjoy watching her content whenever she makes it. So what do you mostly do on the farm? I uh, ordered a bunch of food. Right now is the plant tapioca. Tapioca. Yeah, tapioca planting season right now. Yeah. And uh, also harvest tapioca. Yeah. And sugar cane. Sugar cane. Yeah, and soon, on next month, we got to plant rice. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's a pretty long process, the rice. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to try to share that with your audience? Yes. Okay. Sure. So what about making videos? Do you have any plan from here on? Like, you, like you're going to make one video a week, one a month, two a week? Have you thought about how many videos you might try to make? I would like to try to make uh, three videos on one week. Yeah. yeah. And good. maybe uh, one live stream on every Sunday Every night. Sunday. Oh, yeah. very good. Nick came here with her mom, but her mom, I think she wanted to go shopping, so she should be back here in a little bit. But uh, we're just sitting here enjoying a couple of beers since I'm staying the night, and she has a designated driver, so. But uh, anyway, you guys need to definitely check out Nick's channel. I will leave it again in my description box. A lot of you have already visited her channel, but because she's been gone for, you know, for a good reason, you know, she's taken off some time and uh, she's going to come back and, and show you guys life through eyes of a tie. Yes. Yeah? I think everybody's excited. Yeah, huh? <laughs> so you've already put out a couple videos though, huh? Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Has your subscribers? I'm talking too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> you forget them. Huh? I forget. Nit <laughs> speaks really good English, but I when I get going, it's blah 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 blah. So you've already put out a couple of videos. Yes. Were your viewers were they happy to see you come back? Yeah, many comment is uh, very happy I come back yeah. make video again, you know, and uh, same same uh, my subscriber have com comment oh. before, you know, so they say oh happy, you know I come back, you know, where you been something like that, you know, right. yeah. And and you also teach a little bit, not teach, but you explain some words in Thai language to people too, right? Yes. Yeah, I think that's. A lot better than me trying to say something, but you guys want to know, uh, a li learn a little bit from Thai culture, and learn maybe a few words here and there. Hopefully, they're all good words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no bad words. No, I not really. Maybe sometime uh, I want to let people know if this is a bad word and good oh, word. You know, okay, very good. have to have to teach the bad word and good word oh, also. Okay to make a, a foreigner understand Thai culture also. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think it's awesome. I can't wait to see your new videos and I hope you continue. And uh, I bought her some lunch so she could hear me yap, yap, yap. And uh, yeah, anyway, check it out. I, knit or Pearl, whatever you choose from uh, Eyes, Eyes of a Thai. Thank you for talking to us. See you. See you. I forgot to mention something about Eyes of, a, uh, Eyes of a Thai channel. She's been out for a year, so one of the requirements for YouTube to be a, a partner where she can collect money uh, for her efforts, you have to have 4,000 watch hours. Right now she only has like 360, I think, because she hasn't done a video in so long except for a couple of days ago. So uh, that's what she needs to do right now is hit her watch time. So that's why I'm pushing her well, I don't have to push her. She already knows she's going to make videos, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, nothing going on. Just took a nap. Had a great conversation with Nit. We were actually supposed to meet another subscriber. One of her subscribers also, which kind of initiated this whole thing, I wanted to meet up with her. But, uh... I couldn't get him on the phone. I sent him a message and he didn't respond. So sorry you missed it. But it just got finished raining. Actually, it rained pretty hard. Anyway, tomorrow I'm not making a video. I have a lot of things to do tomorrow in preparation for us to leave for four days. It's going to be fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little video today. I hope you enjoyed the bike ride. I did. I'm like really exhausted because it's it's hot, <laughs> like really hot. Anyway, well, uh, I don't know. I'm not hungry. Had a uh, big lunch, I think. So I'm just going to chill out here, watch some videos. Maybe I wouldn't be taking a nap anymore. I'd be sleeping. <laughs> Can't do anything else because it's, it's a storm's about to come. Uh, anyway, maybe it'll cool things off. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.